the two tool. Amen. Um, and he told me, he spoke to me, and I felt the unction to preach a message that I had already preached somewhere else. So I began, like some of us, questioning God. Instead of just saying, yay, Lord, I'll obey you, Jesus. I wanted to take it upon myself and say, no, Lord, not that one. I already did that. But he said, I better obey you. Amen. So somebody must be here, Brother Craig, that needs to hear this. Amen. And if I had a title of a message, it would be, Stand Still. And watch God Amen. deliver. Amen. Take time, Sister Gray, to stand still and let God lead our footsteps. Amen. See, we find it difficult within ourselves to do that. Hallelujah. And sometimes we mess up the perfect will of God for our life and the perfect steps of our lives because we think we're the man or because we think we're the woman, Brother Gray, and we can do it upon ourselves, but we cannot do nothing. Amen. God ordains the path for us to walk. Amen. How many agrees with that tonight? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So, like y'all know, I'm a Webster's Dictionary kind of preacher. I like to know and understand what I preach about. So I looked up the definitions of stand. To be placed in or maintain an upright position. Listen to this, church. To remain unchanged. Oh, hallelujah. To remain and maintain a conviction. Amen. Come on. Amen. Oh, yeah. To resist. I looked up steel. Hallelujah. That means silent, calm, peaceful. Until now or another time. Nevertheless, stillness. How you doing tonight, brother? God bless you. Deliver. <laughs> to impart. Amen. To commit, Sister Gray. To rescue. To save. To give. To liberate. Come on. If we would learn to stand still Amen. and watch God deliver. Amen. I don't care what you're walking through tonight. I don't care what kind of trial you're walking through. If you hold on to Jesus. Amen. You'll trust in Jesus. With a whole heart, honey. And a pure heart, honey. Amen. Yes, Whatever the circumstances might be tonight, God will deliver. Amen. He cannot lie. Hallelujah. He said he's there. He's the same today. Yes, today. Thank 
is for you. This message, baby, Amen. is for you. Stand still. Amen. Let God deliver. He had plans for it just for tonight. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Go to the third chapter, starting at the fourth verse. There Harold cried aloud to you. It is commanded, O people, nations, and languages, that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar, the king, has set up. Well, How many of us tonight has made images? Amen. Come on, church. Amen. Think about it. Amen. What happened to holiness, mama? Amen. It's put out that door. Amen. Hallelujah. We put a little this on here. And Amen. a little bit of that on there. Amen. shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Amen. Therefore, at that time, when all people heard the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and all kinds of music, all the people, the nations, and the languages fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar, the king, has set up. Now you can read a bit, a little bit further if you want to, but Sister Hope thinks I might have the story a little bit memorized. If I don't, you call it on me because I don't want to tell a lie. Then I read a little bit further, Brother Gus, how a few of the people was looking around. Come on. They were seeing what the other person was doing, Sister Gray, Amen. instead of worrying about their own sins. Amen. Hi, church. Hello. We don't do that tonight, though, do we? Huh? If we clean around our own front door Amen. steps and while we go to it alone, we find a lot more dirt around our door than we get our neighbors. Amen. Hallelujah. The people begin to look around. Sister Sharon went up to the king and said, Oh, king, didn't you tell us when the music began to play for us to bow down and worship the golden image? King said, Why, well, sure I did. He said, Well, why is it that your students, the ones that you're teaching our language, huh? Come on. Is rebelling against what you said for them to do. Come on. Huh? Come on. Come on, church. Come on. The king got mad, so he called them up. Amen. Now, he loved these three boys, no doubt. I believe the king Amen. did. Amen. But it made him mad, Sister Betty, that they wouldn't obey what he said. Amen. <laughs> so I began to ask him, didn't I tell y'all that when the music began to play, to bow down and worship me? Uh, they didn't say that, Mama. They said, oh, King, we're hesitant on giving you a response to that. Huh? Let's go on over to the 16th verse and we're going to read it just so you know why I ain't yeah, telling Philip. Read, read it. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. 16th verse, church. Answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful 
to answer me Amen. in this matter. Preached that two weeks ago. <laughs> huh? Oh, <laughs> preached two weeks ago. If it be so, our God whom we serve Amen. is able Amen. to what? from the burning fiery furnace and the will and he will deliver us out of thy hand O king Amen. this is the key right here church but if not be it known unto thee O king <laughs> that we will not serve thy gods nor worship the golden image which thou hast shed up Urgent. 
and the furnace yeah. exceeding hot. Right. The flame of the fire slew those men Amen. that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Amen. That furnace was so hot, Brother Gray, that the men, that Shadrach, Nebuchadnezzar said, okay, I want you to put them in that furnace. Honey, they didn't even get inside the furnace. And the Holy Ghost took over, baby. And he killed them. Now this is Nebuchadnezzar. Come on. 
He said, therefore, I make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut into pieces, and their houses shall be made a dunghill, because there is no other God that can deliver Amen. after this story. Shack and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Oh, yeah. Never say nothing like that. Never, Brother Philip. Oh, hallelujah. Time after time, day after day, we feel the anointing of God. Oh. We feel His presence. We get His healings like I would tonight, Sister Gray. Amen. And we take it for granted, church. Amen. What's wrong with us? Oh. We better wake up. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Oh. 
I don't know where that came from, but hallelujah. Right on time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then I read over in the 16th chapter, around the 16th verse, begin to tell about how he met this woman named Delilah. Oh, his flesh loved that, Brother Jeff. Huh? Hello. Listen to me, church. He began to play with that thing. And his enemy began to play with her mind. Come on. Amen. Tell her we need to know the secret. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Huh? Come on. What happened? Huh? Samson kept on playing. And kept on playing, son. And kept on playing with his flesh. Until one day, he woke up in the belly of the devil. We're up just about is what you might as well say. And when he woke up, Brother Philip, to shake himself, the power of God had been stripped from him. Amen. 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 Huh? I'm telling you, church, stop playing with God. Amen. And you're speaking a little bit of tongues here and there. And you feel a little tingle down in your soul. And think that everything's okay. While well, you're on your way to hell. Amen. Amen. Right. Come on. Well, glory. He began to play with his flesh. And when he woke up to shake himself. Amen. Satan done got him. They threw him into prison. Come on. I don't know. I don't really know how long Samson sat in that prison cell. But no doubt, Brother Gray, he sat there and he cried out daily to Jesus. Amen. God, why did I do that? Why did I forsake the only one that could deliver me? Why did I play with my flesh like that, God? God, please, please forgive me, Lord. Amen. Oh, yes, it did. Awesome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Well, his enemy began to come up above themselves. They began to get high and mighty. They wanted to worship their God. Right. Come on. We ain't guilty of that, are we, church? Come on. They began to worship, if I'm not mistaken, their God's name was Dagon or Dagon. Something like that. Dagon. Hallelujah. They said, hey, go get Samson. We want to use him as a toy. Oh, yeah, I'm so quiet. Are you listening to me, church? Babies, you listening to Sister Hope? Hallelujah. They begin to want to play and use him for an example. Amen. But no doubt, Samson had still been in that prison then, Sister Sharon. I beg in God. Amen. God, if you will just give me one more. Amen. Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord. Just like Sister Hope did on the middle of that floor. That's right. In the hospital. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. That's right. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. their house thousands of people Amen. mama no doubt they was mocking and laughing at him <laughs> and no doubt the little thing was probably so humiliated stinking dirty from where they had him in there grinding on that wheel <laughs> and he was standing there all humiliated baby with his little head held down like this and no doubt he was saying, Jesus, God, the God of my salvation, the God, if I stand here, still, oh, yet I'm a so cool, yet I'm a boy, you will deliver me, Jesus. Yes, God. Oh, hallelujah. And he looked over, he, well, he couldn't look because he didn't have no eyes to see, but he felt for that little boy, no doubt. 
He said, honey, place my hands on them pillars. Amen. Huh? How on. many knows what happened? Yeah. Hell, they placed his hands on the land. Yeah. And they placed his hands on the land. Yeah. And he yeah. cried out yeah. to God. Yeah. And he said, God, give me the strength. God. Amen. God, Amen. to my death, Lord. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even to my death. Yeah. Yeah. Church, he stood there and God delivered. Amen. He took it to his death. Well, I've been hollering at you for about an hour now. Stand still. Amen. Watch God. Amen. Then he never. Come on, Lord. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Jesus. Jesus. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Speak to me, Lord. Amen. I'm going to tell you something tonight. Young people. I'm through with the Bible. I don't feel the finish. Young people, let me tell you something. And I don't know why I'm going this way. But somebody needs to hear this tonight. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. Most of you know where God delivers Sister Hope from. Amen. Amen. Most of you know that I lived on the streets nearly 20 years of my life. And the past two years, God has brought me Amen. mightily Thank you, Lord. out of the, Amen. Out of the grasp Amen. of Satan. Amen. And He has exalted me Thank you, because when I fell on my face, Brother Jerry, and I gave it to him, and I didn't care what doctor heard me or what patient was in that hospital, I shook the floors and the windows. Amen. And, Amen. And, Amen. and I promised Jesus that day with my whole heart, honey, and a pure heart, I said, God, if you just won't take my granny away from me, Thank you, Amen. Lord. I give it all to you, Jesus. Amen. That's what I did, church. Amen. But let me tell you something. Thank you, Lord. Sister Hope used to run drugs. Yes. yes. I get tangled up here. Somebody help me. Yep. Hold on. I'll try it up. <laughs> He's trying to get me, but he ain't going to do it. Amen. You got me now? Yeah, <laughs> I used to run drugs for some of the highest dope runners out of Miami. You listening to me tonight, church? Amen. Young people, this might be a Ford adult. I don't know. But God said, I got to tell my life story. Amen. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Lord. I began to run drugs and say, God had such a powerful anointing on me, Brother Gray. Even as a child, angels would come to me. And I would bring forth messages that the angels would sit and talk to me about. A little child no bigger than this baby right here. Satan set out to destroy me. And charge, he almost did it. I OD three different times on heroin. Come on. Okay? But before it got to that point, I was making money. Anywhere from $1,000 to $2,500 a night. Come on. Come on. I take one vehicle, pick up one vehicle. This happened all night long. One vehicle, Pick up one vehicle. Take one vehicle. Pick up one vehicle. Well, I began to get weary and tired. So the devil said, okay, we're going to take it to the next level. Come 
Come on. She's letting me use her now. Uh -huh. So I'm going to see just how much more I can use her, baby. See, oh, 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 yeah. that's what he did to Sister Hope Honey. But let me tell you something tonight. God knew that there was going to come a day on a Saturday night. I was going to stand in the revival center. Amen. Oh, that's God. right. Yes, Lord. Oh, Amen. Don't do it. That's right. Don't do it. Amen. I ran them drugs. Well, I'm tied up here. <laughs> there was you alive. Now you got my hair. Okay. So, one of the main dealers, he said, we got a new pill out now. It's called ecstasy. Mm. Come on. You take this one pill right here, street value, about $30 a pill. Come on. Church, I know what I'm talking about, young people. You better listen. Come on. I begin to take one. Come on, Then I got so used to that, I begin to take two. Come on. Then after a while, it went one or two, Brother Philip. It was six or seven, a night. But see, the devil was setting that in my path, son. Huh? Yeah, he was. He was setting it in my path so he knew what was going to take place in my life. That's right. Amen. Come on. Amen. And, like God does a lot of us, he let me go to my own will, Brother Greg, for my own destruction. To see that I was going to have to turn back to him, son. And give him my life. Amen. Amen. Well, then the ecstasy pills weren't good enough for me. No more so. Well, after the dealers had done used me up so much, Brother Gray, we got to take her to another level now. Not only was Sister Hope running drugs for him.
I was so high, Brother Jeff. I didn't know where I was. But the tears began to roll. Yes. All because if I knew that I trusted in anybody, it was my granny. That's right. Come on. Come on. And God knew, he knew, baby, what to do to put that hook in my jaw and say, Amen. 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 Oh, yes. Amen. 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 Young people, Sister Hope almost died three different times overdosing on hell with cocaine. Three times. And I still wouldn't wake up and see that I wasn't going to get away from God. That my life wasn't my own. Right. It was my That's own right. God. Yes, Lord. That's right. Amen. 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 Salvation, Brother Phil. Good word. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Anyway, I told Mama, I said, Mama, I said, I don't know when, but I'll be up there. I got myself together. Went and took me a shower. Got ready. Went to the hospital. And that spirit of conviction had already started seeping down on my head on the way to the hospital with the grain. When I walked in the hospital room and I saw my little granny. She looked like this, laying in the hospital bed. Oh, hallelujah. And the tears began to roll. And I began to sob. And I could not hardly breathe. I just felt like I was just losing my mind, church. Granny looked up at me. She said, why are you crying, baby? I said, because... I killed you, Granny. <laughs> I put you here. <laughs> and I felt so grieved because I felt like because of the grieving and the praying and the staying up all night for me, for my sorry oh. sins, had put her where she was. Come on. doctor came in there and he said ma'am why are you crying you don't trust me he said I'm gonna take care of you grandma he said it ain't my, I told him I said it ain't my grandma he's taken care of I need Jesus Amen. and I took out of the hospital room and honey I went right by the whole family just to get it and honey I was looking on the walls for a chapel Amen. and I began to look and when I Amen. found it I slid in the doors Amen. That's and right. Slid down in the middle of that floor. Thank you, Lord. And I began to start and cry out and beg God to forgive me. Amen. And Jesus, give me one more chance. <laughs> Went to the drug dealers. They ain't my God. But I had to bow to them like they was. Amen. I fell on my knees in front of the head leader. And I began to sob and beg him to let me out. Amen. I said, please, I will never, ever tell the information that I know. If you'll just let me go, just please let me go. I don't want to live this life no more. Amen. I want Jesus in my life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. About that time, I felt my head go down like that. There was two pistols pointed at the back of my head. Church, you better listen to me. Man. You think it's funny games? It ain't funny games. Man. They will kill you. Amen. Man. And it's by the mercy and grace of God Man. that I'm standing right here holding right. oh. you tonight. Amen. Amen. 
the head leader and I began to sob. And you know what I began to say? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, if I die, just make sure my life's right with you, Jesus. I don't want to die go to hell. And the tears began to roll down his face. Amen. And he stood up Amen. and he said, let her go. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let's go. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes. out that door, don't you look back. Because if you do, my faith is the last thing you'll see. Amen. Honey, I was high stepping up out of that Amen. Place. Just as fast as I Thank could go. You. And let me tell you something, on the way out that door, Brother God, I said, God, I'm going up by you. Amen. That's right. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Baby, yes, I don't care what you're going through. That's right. If your wife ain't here. Right. Your husband right. ain't here. You serve God. Amen. Amen. Yes. And God will deliver. Amen. 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 Let me get some music going. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We are standing on holy ground, Kimberly. Stand up, church. Let's begin to reverence God tonight.
Connie, God, just show me your heart. And baby, it looked like it'd been just ripped. Like a lion rips a piece of meat. Bless you, Lord. <laughs> I don't know what that means, sweetheart, or what you've went through. But I see hurt. <laughs> but baby, they ain't but one Amen. that can deliver that. Amen. just seen that church and there was a big crack right down the middle of it and God said to tell you brother Gray to step up take order and that's all I know step up and take order Amen. step up brother Gray there you go hallelujah I don't know what it meant but that's what he said to you glory hallelujah let's play the music Jesus God will deliver. And honey, when he brings him in this time, he's going to bring him on a firm foundation. Amen. Is the home. You can't do it within yourself. Amen. But trust Amen. in God. And God's going to do it. Amen. Thank you, When you least expect it. And when you just about said, that's it. Yes, that's Lord. when God's going to do it. Amen. Jesus, hallelujah. God, give her strength. Give her strength, you, God, and understanding, Lord. Amen. God,
you know, Sister Hope Lowe, she, you know, I do, right? But if I don't obey God, baby, your blood will be on my hands. God gave you the Holy Ghost. And honey, you sat down on what he's gave you. And that was a gift from him. And baby, I want to tell you something. Your life ain't yours. Amen. It belongs to God. Amen. And for him that knows much, baby, much is required. Amen. Amen. I don't want to hurt you, baby, and I wouldn't hurt you for nothing in the world. But you better put God back first in your life. Well, baby, serving with your whole heart. And the thing that's hindering you from doing that, you better walk away from it. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Because if you don't, you're going to lose your soul with it, baby. Well, you understand me? Either make it right by God or walk away from it. But stop letting it hinder you because you're spiritually dying. Amen. You hear me? God have mercy, Jesus. Get in a church, set a foundation. 
creation. Because if you don't, he's going to have to spank you. And you don't want the wrath of God, sir. You don't want to have to get him on you. Amen. Because when God turns his wrath loose, church, Amen. he will hurt you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Oh, he's my Jesus, and I love him. Amen. And if you're standing in this church, <laughs> thank you, Lord.
us for God, I thank you for him in Jesus. Amen. I thank you, God. God, that's why you took the stripes, Jesus. For our sins, Lord. And God, I'm asking you right now, Lord. You said it, God, and I believe it. Now do it. You said by your stripes we were healed. Okay, Sister Hope's fixing to turn it over. I'm fixing to turn the service back over to the pastor. God bless you, honey. Thank you, Lord. Get in the church somewhere. Kamichia, leader. Get in the church, baby. Let Jesus show you. Your man. Love you. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Lord, I love you. Bless you, Lord. Honey, I don't know anything at all about you, but all during this service, I felt in my spirit, I felt, and, and this is odd for me, but I felt the Spirit of the Lord speak to me and he said she will preach my Amen. 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 But honey, not only will you preach the word, you're going to do missionary work. Thank you, Lord. But you're also going to be an evangelist. Amen. And you may feel like, well, boy, this has been hard this week. But honey, you ain't seen nothing yet. Amen. Oh, my Thank my you, God. Lord. But Thank God's you. got a plan for your life. And step by step, he's leading you right. Amen. You Amen. go along. Amen. Oh, my heart. Thank you, Lord. I don't know nothing about you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is that one of yours? Bless your Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, man, honey. Don't get in a hurry. Amen. Okay? Don't get in a hurry. Just do, go one step at a time and watch what God is going to do. Okay? Amen. Oh, Lord, I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Even know this, not my child. Even... From thy mother's womb did not I, the Lord thy God, call and chose of thee, yea, to do a work for me. And yea, I've seen even the hungry in thy heart. Amen. And know that I, the Lord, have Thank not you. turned a deaf ear. Amen. But I've seen also the tears. Amen. The book, say Amen. God. And know thy not in my time and in my oh, season. Lord, yes, I, the Lord, shall bring thee forth. And yea, all oh, I, the Lord, shall use thee in a measure, yea, that it shall even confound thee, but it shall confound even thy mother and thy father. Oh, or oh, have oh, not oh, even out the mouth of the Lord spoken it, and shall I not bring it to pass, saith God. Yes, amen. Woo. Lord, I love you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, there it is, girl. Amen. Amen. The, the little lady in the blue shirt. Ma'am. Priscilla. Ma Priscilla. Ma Priscilla. Well, praise the Lord. <laughs> See, I don't know none of y'all. I mean, I can't put no names to you. But I tell you what, honey. I was looking at you tonight. Amen. And you feel, there's at times you feel so all alone. <laughs> you feel like that Hallelujah. you're just on the back side of a desert. But let me assure you, Moses was put on the back side of the desert Thank for the you. Lord to deal with him. Amen. And for the Lord Amen. to work in him. Amen. Hallelujah to God. God ain't got you back there to no avail. Right. But he's got you back there to speak to you, to show you things. 
and you know I don't know nothing about you. Hallelujah. But I feel like God spoke to me. He deals with you with Amen. dreams. Amen. He shows you things. Hallelujah. Am I right? Hallelujah. I felt like that it was the Lord that spoke it to me. Amen. Hallelujah. And God is about to bring you forth. Promotion time. Amen. To come Amen. Lord, my behind you. Put your hand And let's pray. Lift your hands. Oh, Lord, I you haven't come oh, for a show. Lord, Hallelujah to God. Lord, Hallelujah. But we're here to see what God's going to do.